Well, would you look at the time? It's, uh, it's time for a serious video, because <laughs> I don't do those. But I wanted to take the time today to make my one serious video of the year. Something that's very serious to me. Something that I need to share with you. And no, it's not clickbait. This woman right here is the reason why I am here today. The reason you see me. The reason why I've continued. I made a video a few years ago. Losing all hope. It's one of my most viewed videos. I lost hope. I had no friends. I barely saw my family. I had no hope, no drive, no confidence, no motivation. I wanted to die. And ironically, I met a girl named Liv. And I wanted to live. It was like a sign of the universe. And I'm not into signs and zodiacs and all that shit. I'm not into that stuff. But I'm into her. I'm really into her. I've been into her since the moment I started talking to her. The most interesting, funny, fun, beautiful girl. Person. I fell in love with her on sight. First sight. We started dating from the first night we met. And since then, I loved her every single day more and more. It's never slowed down. There was no honeymoon phase. This is a honeymoon life. It's never slowed down. We've lived with each other basically since the first night we started. Yeah, we had some nights without each other, but we basically were living with each other since that day, spending like every day together. And you know they say, you're gonna butt heads, you're gonna find out you don't wanna do this anymore. Yeah, we had our fights, but I love her more today than ever. Way more than yesterday. And way, 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 way more than when I first fell in love with her. I proposed to her after a few months of knowing her. Everybody judged me. Family, friends, everybody. You guys, maybe not you, but a lot of people, people in my audience. And you have the right to think that. You have the right to feel that way. Like, oh, he's only proposing to somebody after a few months of knowing, and that's scary. Wait until they're with each other for a year, then they'll really find each other out. They'll really see the real colors, the true colors. And I saw her true colors, and let me tell you, they're the most beautiful colors. Because the more I learned about her, the more and deeper I fell in love with her. Everything about her is driving me crazy. Like, I'm so crazy about her. And I never want this feeling to end. For the first time in my life, I'm scared. I'm afraid of dying. I never felt that way. Of course, as a kid, I was happy and everything, but like high school and beyond, bro, if I got shot the following day, whatever, <laughs> like being honest with you, now I'm afraid of getting hurt. I'm afraid of dying because that takes away from time that I get to spend with her. She's my best friend. I look forward to just sitting on the couch with her, driving with her, listening to music, just not even talking to each other sometimes, just sitting next to each other, watching a show. I'm having a time of my life just laying down next to her when we're on our phones. Time of my life just holding her hand. I never wanna let go. She's my everything. And this is gonna be corny to people that don't understand, but the people that do understand, probably smiling. Because I really hope every single one of you finds a love like this, whether it's through a person or an interest. But like, if you guys love me, this is what's best for me. She is what's is best for me. It's been like that since the moment I saw her, since the moment I met her. My girl is what's best for me. And like I said, a lot of people judge me right off the bat because I proposed to her a few months in, but that was not a mistake. That was the best decision of my life. I wish I did it sooner because I felt that way sooner, way sooner. I knew she was the one. And I know that's very cliche to say, oh, you're the one. No, she is the one for me. She is. She's the only one for me. No one else is for me. I've been in other relationships. I don't even count those. I don't. I just see those as lessons. You know what I mean? They happened. They existed. I wish the best for those people. I don't even think about that anymore. All I think about is what's with me now and the memories we are to make. I love her to death. I love her with all my heart. She's so smart. She's the smartest person, bro. She's the smartest person I know. So intellectual. I, I don't even understand her sometimes. Sometimes I just have to look at her and smile because, <laughs> bro, the words she uses, <laughs> wow. 
smartest girl. She's the smart girl in class, and I am the autistic one. I'm not autistic, but you know, you get my point. I'm the straight F student. She's the straight A student on honor roll. I'm not. <laughs> I saw no roll. All I saw was a fucking toilet roll, bro. That's all I. That's all I've seen. Toilet paper roll. But other than that, <laughs> I don't want to say the cliche thing like, it's not perfect. We fight. It is perfect because we do fight. We've had our fights. But because we fought, we learned how to communicate with each other. We've been living with each other since day one. We have to learn how to live with each other, how to coexist. And we have learned. Trust me, we have learned. We go to each other with everything. If I have a problem, I go to her. I don't go to a friend. I don't go to a, a girl. I don't go to a, anybody. I, don't go, I go to her because that's what I feel like is a healthy relationship. And if you want to know why I started streaming, it's because of her. I had that drive. Before I met her, I would have never been able to stream. I just didn't have that confidence. But she pushed me. She believed in me. And that's why I'm able to do what I'm doing today. Right now, she's working on her art. She wants to become an artist. She is an artist, but you know what I mean, like a successful artist with an art store. And I am going to help her as much as I can because I am her number one fan. You do not hold that place I do. <laughs> like, I am her number one fan, bro. I will die for her. I'll do everything. I'll wear her merch. I'll, 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 I'll tattoo her name on my forehead. I already tattooed it on my arm. And I know a lot of people see that as a red flag. But like I said, it's not. She's the reason why I live. And that might sound toxic to you, but I don't care. Because I know my destiny. And it's with her. And I'm having a time of my life with her. You know, I have to deal with comments like, oh, is he going to feel this way in three years when he makes a video saying we broke up? No, there is no breaking up. There is no breaking up. We have that love that my parents have, that her parents have, just belonging with each other and living and dying together. That's what I have with her. I cannot imagine life without her. I don't want a life without her. There is no life without her. I'm so proud to be hers. I'm so proud of her, and I'm proud of myself. She gives me confidence that I've never had in my life. I feel like the sexiest, funniest man. And I never felt that way with anybody else or even alone. I never felt sexy. I used to date girls. I didn't date so many girls. I say like I've been with 40 girls. I've dated a girl that made me feel like I had to be a K-pop star in order to be attractive. She makes me feel like I am John Cena. Like I am the sexiest man on the planet. And I know I'm not, but I feel that way to her. And I don't give a damn what anybody else feels about me. I've been able to be myself more in my videos. I don't have to be cool. I don't have to wear a tank top or prevent myself from making stupid faces because somebody might be looking and be turned off. I don't give a damn. I could be myself. And the person you see on camera, ask her. Ask my live. It's not that much different from who's off camera. She's everything. <laughs> she is so fucking cool, man. I love her so much. But I just wanted to talk about this, not to brag, not to tell you guys how perfect and amazing my life is. It is amazing. We travel the world together. We have the time of our lives every day together, even when we're doing nothing, staying inside on a snow day. What I'm telling you is that I feel like there's a person for all of us. Whether it's the person you're with right now or the person you're not with, or maybe you're not into the whole love thing. If it's not a person, it's something. We're all meant for someone or we're all meant for something. I'm meant for her and I'm meant to be doing what I'm doing right now on YouTube. Spread laughter and cheer and entertainment to y'all. Everybody has their YouTube. Everybody has their live. You know what I mean? And I have mine. And that's all that matters to me. Everything else is a side mission, a side quest. Problems, we're going to have them. But at the end of the day, I'm with her. And that's all that matters. I'm not worried about anything. All I'm worried about is if something happens to me. Because it takes away time that I get to spend with her. And I'm scared. I'm scared about that. Because I, I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose myself. I just want to spend eternity with her. And I know it's weird to hear me talk like this to my subscribers. But... I wish all of you the feeling I'm feeling right now. Honestly, there's no hard days. There's hard moments, but there's no hard days because at the end of the day, I'm with her. And I know I'm blessed for that very reason. 
I have you guys. It's all I'll ever need. I have everything I need right here with me right now. I don't need more. I don't need more money. I don't need more subscribers. I don't need more views. I don't need more cars. I don't need more. I am perfectly perfect <laughs> with what I have. Everything else is just extra. Whatever happens from here on out is extra. I'm living at my peak. This is my peak. As Luffy would say, this is my gear five. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy. And it's because of her. She's my light. No pun intended. She is my light. My Nicholas light. No, no, no. But yeah, I just, it's been a very long time since that video. And I just wanted to update those that probably don't watch my content because they came from that video and expected more videos like that and I never gave one. Here's just a little update that I'm doing as perfect as somebody can do. And it's all because I found the love of my life and I f started to love myself. So I'm going to be fine forever. More than fine. I'm going to be perfect. And I'm not perfect, but I feel that way. Nothing could stop me. Nothing could bring me down from the heaven in which I exist right now. And that's here with her, with you guys, having the time of my life every single day. Thank you. Love you. And yeah, I don't really cry. It's hard for me to cry knowing y'all are watching me. I could turn that emotion off. I'm not going to be like those YouTubers that force myself to cry. You know, have a water bottle underneath me and, and like turn it, uh, cut the camera real quick and wet my eyes. Like, I'm not going to do that. Or bring a dog in here and start crying. I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I'm not. No, I'm not an influencer. I'm, I'm no different than you. I'm no different, bro. I'm literally no different. And that's what I try to be. You can love me. You can hate me. Whatever. I am no different than just a random person you see on the street. And I'm not afraid to be myself. And she's taught me to be fine with that. My crazy brain she accepts. Because her brain is just as crazy. <laughs> We're crazy together. I'm crazy in love with her. I'm crazy for her. And yeah, man. I love her so much. I love you guys. Too. <laughs> too. Like, yeah, yeah, you guys. Yeah, I love you too. No, I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean. I'm on cloud nine, bro. I'm on cloud nine. And, uh. I hope to see all of you up here with me, if you're not there already. Sayonara.